shrimp farmers used to hold animals in nursery ponds for 30 to 60 days, now they try to move them into grow out ponds in less than 30 days. This reduces stress on the animals and dramatically increases survivals in the grow out ponds. Many farms that abandoned nursery ponds have gone back to them, and the results have been surprisingly positive. They're using the old, uncovered, earthen, nursery ponds. A hazard assessment should be performed for work involving distillations of organic liquids and should thoroughly address issues relating to residual water and possible decomposition of the solvent in question, as well as the physical placement of the distillation apparatus and heating equipment to be employed. The elephant is the largest living land mammal. During evolution, its skeleton has greatly altered from the usual mammal, design for two main reasons. One is to cope with the great weight of huge grinding cheek teeth and elongated tusk, making the skull particularly massive. The other is to support the enormous bulk of such a huge body.
Globalization has affected what we eat in ways. We are only beginning to understand. Modern food production no longer related to our biological needs but is in direct conflict with them. The relationship between diet and our fertility, our cancer, heart diseases and mental illness is becoming clear, yet much of our food is nutritionally bankrupt. Business school admissions officers said the new drive to attract younger students was in part the result of a realization that they had inadvertently limited their application pool by requiring several years' work experience. Talented students who might otherwise have gone to business school instead opted for a law or policy degree because they were intimidated by the expectation of work experience. The training of an actor is an intensive process which requires curiosity, courage and commitment. You will learn how to prepare for rehearsal, how to rehearse and how to use independent and proactive processes that inform you to do the best work possible for both stage and screen.
public demand for education has remained strong, reflecting the importance of education as a means of social progress. Aware of the added value of education to the world of work, the government continues to innovate and update the education system in order to produce a qualified and competent workforce. The preparation of abstract is an intellectual effort, requiring general familiarity with the subject. To bring out the salient points of author's argument calls for skill and experience. Consequently a considerable amount of qualified manpower that could be used to advantage in other ways must be diverted to the task of facilitating access to information.